Welcome, I'm Arlie Greenwald with Turn Bicycles North America. In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through the Storm Box, a new accessory for the Turn GSD Gen 2 cargo bikes. The Storm Box is going to add weather protection to your cargo and, well, kids. The Storm Box includes a one-piece Storm Box, and then you have an additional kid lid and a cargo lid. The kid lid pulls up and around your children's shoulders, and the cargo lid is to keep things dry and protected. There are some additional accessories that are necessary to install the storm box. First, you need the Clubhouse Plus and Sidekick Wide Decks. I also recommend to install lock stand extensions so you can easily reach the lock stand underneath those Sidekick Wide Decks. I would also recommend the additional lid lock to add to your cargo lid for some extra security. All of these accessories are purchased separately and I recommend that you install them and check everything first before installing your storm box. The storm box is built around the Clubhouse Plus. You can use either the straight bar or the extension bar for child seats. And there's even a space in the back to reach through a Velcro pocket to tighten down the Yep Maxi retention knob. Inside, the storm box has a wonderful liner throughout. There are two pockets, one on each side on the back. Now jumping into my tips for installing and using the storm box. Installing the storm box is straightforward. It comes with great instructions, which I'll link below. The only Two pieces of advice I have for you is first off, make sure all of those necessary accessories are installed. I personally would tighten them down, ride it a couple of times and make sure everything feels good. The other recommendation I have for installation is when you pull the storm box on the first time to have patience. The material is stiff and it's gonna be tight. Speaking of material, this material is waterproof, but not puncture proof. Keep those pointy pens and small toys away from it. Moving on to my recommendation for batteries. If you have a GSD with one battery, it comes pre-installed in the upper position. This position is a bit harder to get the battery out with the storm box. It's not impossible, but not something I personally wanna deal with when I have two small children and it's cold. So if you only are using one battery, I would recommend using it in the lower position. When you move it to that lower position, make sure to take that contact plug and move it to that unused position to keep everything clean. Organizing the storm box. Now this is a little bit different than how I would organize using the Cargo Hold 52. The container is large and deep. I've personally been using more small bags to keep things organized than I would in the Cargo Hold 52 bags. The organizing bags are waterproof. They're specifically from Ikea, typically keeping them in the back, tucked up and rolled away. But if my kids get in with snowy or wet boots, I just take those Ikea bags and cover up anything that might be under them. The other tip about organizing is remember that you have a fixed position between the rails and the deck of the bike. So anything that you need to fit needs to be able to fit through those two rails. So just think about that as you're packing your bags. My last tip is about safety, specifically lighting. You have great reflective piping on the sides and back of the storm box. But the storm box does block some of your built-in lighting on the rear, especially if you're using a Yep seat. Personally, I'm using basic Planet Bike Grateful Red lights that I clipped on to the black loop on either side of the back of the storm box. Well, there you have it. I hope this product briefing was helpful for you to get started with your storm box. If I missed anything, please let us know in the comments below. I'm Arlie Greenwald, and thank you so much for choosing Turn Bicycles.